uh, most people would agree that in today's world, uh, dating has become more difficult and complex than ever before. Uh, what are some of the reasons you found that modern dating is so challenging? Yeah, this is a great question. And so some people might say, oh, dating today seems a lot easier. There's thousands of choices and you're not just limited to the people in your village or Bob and Belinda who live down the street. And so some people might feel like, oh, things have gotten easier. And that's true in some ways, right? It's easier to meet people and there's more people to meet. However, in the book, I argue that dating today is harder than ever before. And that's for some, some main reasons, which include um, we have higher than ever expectations for relationships. And so in the past, we used to say, okay, I'll get my needs met by a variety of people. I have my community. I have my family. I have my best friend. Now we expect to get a lot of those needs met by one person, met by our significant other. So that puts a lot of pressure on the relationship. We also have very, very high expectations of what relationships should feel like. We expect to be self-actualized by our relationship, that our partner will bring out the best in us. We also suffer from something which I'm sure you're very familiar with called the paradox of choice, which is the idea that we're drawn to having options, but that actually more options make us feel depressed, makes it hard for us to choose, and in some ways leads to decision paralysis where you know, we have no, we make no decision at all because we're so overwhelmed. And so what happens is, yes, there's way more people to choose from, but because we're putting so much pressure on relationships, because we don't have relationship role models, many of our parents are divorced, because we suffer from this analysis paralysis, decision paralysis, I argue that it's actually harder than ever to find a partner and to actually know how to commit to them. Yeah, and that's such an interesting point because you would think like with technology now and you have so much more options, so many more people to choose from, you'll find that, you know, that one person that's meant for you a lot sooner. But actually what I found, especially talking with a lot of my friends, like there's so many people out there, you don't know when like you made the right choice or it's like if the, if the relationship isn't working out, you could always find something new. And it's kind of like this paradox, of, like you said, the paradox of happiness and having too much to choose from. Exactly. Yeah. And so if the question were, is it easier to meet someone now than in the past, then the answer would definitely be yes. And that's particularly true in what we call thin markets. So those are things like people over 50, where it's harder to know who's single, um, people in the LGBTQ plus community, people who live in rural communities, right? It's absolutely easier for all of us to find someone and but, but then the question becomes, okay, well, that's only step one. Step one is finding one. Step two is knowing who to choose, who to commit to, and how to make it work. And so the argument is it's now much harder to figure out that second piece.